different location, different video. Welcome everyone to the Brickitect office. I'm in here because I have something in front of me that I want to share with you that you may have seen float around YouTube probably about two years ago. I'm a little late to the game, but it doesn't take away my excitement for this product. And that product is the Lego Star Wars Character Encyclopedia. I picked this up on Amazon for $13.99, and I bought this for a few reasons. The first one you probably already see there. We've got the exclusive Darth Maul minifig. That to me is icing on the cake, but the main reason I bought this is because Clark and I have been really getting into Lego Star Wars lately, even more so than I thought we ever would. And we love minifigs. We love Star Wars minifigs, especially Stormtroopers. All the OG brick detectors know that. And we have a lot of minifigs that we got in the mail from people. We have a lot that we found at yard sales and stuff. And many of them are mismatched. And I would really love to try to get them all fixed up. And I thought this would be a great opportunity to try to do that, not only as reading material for Clark and myself, but also just to, you know, to look through and be like, oh, we, we totally have that guy, or we totally probably don't, we don't have that one. We totally have that guy and we want to try to build it. It's easier to do this than it is to go on to Google and look at images and stuff like that. Plus this is something we can check out each night before bed and read all about Anakin Skywalker and all of the variants and stuff that came with this. So I thought, geez, for that price, especially with Darth Maul, like that's worth the price of admission alone right there. I felt like, man, that's such a great deal. And this came out two years ago. I think you could pretty much get this at a discount the entire time this has been out. I remember seeing it years ago. It just wasn't like, it wasn't the right time. But now is the right time. And if you have a few minutes here, I thought maybe we could take a gander at this and look through and be amazed together at uh, the backside of Darth Maul. Before we start anything here, I should say, pardon my table. This has been our arts and crafts table for years now, and it's been through a lot. So if you see some scratches there, that's they're, they're uh, well-earned and they have a lot of stories to tell. But here is the book, Great Feel to the... I, why am I feeling the book? It's a great feeling hardcover book. The thing that you really want to see, though, is what's in there. That's Darth Maul, and we're going to get him out before we look through the pages. I'm trying to get to Darth Maul without like ruining this, but uh, you know, mission already failed on that front. I was going to try to get him out of here without causing any kind of grief. There we go. Man. <laughs> brutal. Brutal. There is a version of this book that doesn't have Darth Maul. And I think as like a long-term actual book, you'd probably want to go with that one. Because now, if you look at this, before we look at Maul, it's got this giant like piece in the front here that is unnecessary, right? Like that doesn't need to be there. The interesting thing is, on Amazon at least... That version is actually more expensive than this version. The version without Darth Maul, so that spot would actually be filled in. It's more expensive. It's like, why would you pay more for the one without the minifig? Unless you're just like a book person. Oh man, that's bad now. Look at that. The book doesn't even seal. I don't know if I should probably just take that whole thing out of there. That's, that's terrible. Anyways, we did get Darth Maul here, and he is looking rather menacing. He would look really great up there with my Darth Maul head. We'll put this in his hand. That's pretty cool though. I mean, again, for the price of admission here, you're talking $13. How much does this guy go for? Probably, probably not a lot, I suppose, considering he comes with every one of these books. But I think just for him alone, I think it's uh, it's probably worth it. Now, let me see if I can get his back printing and stuff. My camera is not wanting to work with me here. There is a better look at Darth Maul and all the detail on him. He's looking nice. There's a look at his back with the printing there. And no arm printing, which I think is rather upsetting to some Star Wars detectors out there. But he looks good. I actually have two other visual dictionary books. This one is the DC Superheroes one. And this one has the exclusive Yellow Lantern Batman, which, as you can see there, I didn't, I didn't open or do anything with. I'm just keeping it, I guess, as a collectible. And this one is really great. We got this in the mail. This is a Lego minifigure one, which has the orange exclusive Spaceman. And that guy has not been opened either. And I probably shouldn't now that I've learned my lesson here. Anyways, this is not necessarily a collection video. It's more about this Star Wars book in particular. And the first thing you see here is some old Luke action staring back at you. Table of contents page. This is nice because you can use this as a reference if you're looking for someone in particular. You also have a Vader picture over here. What we'll probably use this as is, for example, yesterday we tried building a Qui-Gon. And I was like trying to find pants that look like that in our collection, but I couldn't. And I was just using an image that I saw on Google. And I was like, man, wouldn't it be nice if we just had this book? And we do now. So we have the we have the top half, and I built the lightsaber. I just have to find those pants. I have brown pants, but they they don't have the, the continuation on them, which is unfortunate. You got Obi-Wan. 
And then we've got all of the protocol droids. I cheated, I looked it up right there. Otherwise I would have called these guys all C-3PO's. Got you guys triggered. I think this is a very expensive minifig from what I understand. Queen Amidala, Jar Jar. Oh Lord, let's not talk about that. We got a little Anakin. I'm missing, I need that face. We have that somewhere. And then I want to find his hairpiece. I have that in black, but I don't have that exact one. We have everything else for him. We've got a ton of D2s, as Clark calls them. We've got our collection of Yodas as well. Mace Windu. Do you guys want me to go through this entire book? Probably not. I'm sure someone did this two years ago and did it in a much better fashion than I did. Clark and I call these robots battle droids. Hey, look at that guy. He looks familiar, doesn't he? I think I need to get that Darth Maul in my life. And yeah, that's the one that I need. I need the Christmas one. Mary Sithmas from 2012, just before I got into the game. That's unfortunate. Clark would love this. Man, Clark's gonna love this book, man. We're gonna go through this probably before bed. We can read all about it. So they have a little bit of information about each one, and then they give you variants on these. Can you tell the difference between these? Can you tell? That, ooh, creepy, creepy, creepy. I have this guy in a pack that I got, I feel like. The Jedi and Clone, Oper Clone Trooper Battle Pack. I got that set, I think. And then you got Padme. I don't even know who that guy is. Coleman Trevor. Okay. Sorry, Star Wars guys. Dooku. Dooku's looking legendary. I have this minifig. Didn't know her name, though. Barris Ophi? I'm sorry, peeps. We don't know the clone stuff very much. I'm, I'm at a loss on that. Clark and I need to watch the Clone Wars. We probably love it. I know that's Ahsoka. I think even just the most casual Star Wars fans probably know that, which is, you know, I classify myself as that, but I'm, I want to learn. This is such an awesome history, you know, of all the stuff that's in here. I know what these guys are, I think. Is that a 501st Trooper? Worst, no, I'm just kidding. I won't do that to you guys anymore. I'm trying to make friends with the Star Wars people since we're becoming one. I love this. That is so darn cool. Love it. Grievous, I have that big Grievous. I think I have a little Grievous too. Someone sent me a little Grievous. These guys don't know him. Is that Ahsoka full full on? No, Shakti. She's like next level Ahsoka maybe. We get stuff in the mail and I'm like, hey, I have that helmet, but I don't have that. I have those pants. And that's like a part of this is I'm gonna try to piece this together. I will say as I'm going through this book, it's a little tough because again, that filler piece is there. And again, I still, I, I still stand by the fact that if you want the minifig. I mean, maybe buy this version, but if you want the book, I would buy the non Darth Maul version. That way you don't have that in there if you're gonna take them out. Most people are probably gonna do what I did here and just leave them in, but I didn't wanna do that. The purpose of Lego is to play, right? Let's go, um, let's flip through. We got some astromechs on this page. Awesome. I've seen like model kits of this one which would be really cool to build. Who is that? That is R5D4. I've seen model kits. These are just so good. Can you imagine collecting all these? How fun that would be. I love these two. Is that a Kashyyyk? Is that how you say it, Kashyyyk? 41st, where's the love? Star Wars peeps. Maybe there is love. Ah, Palpatine. We have that Vader. More Vader. Let's just do a rapid fire here. I know you guys are, you probably already left the video, didn't you? If you're still here, let's do a secret. Ooh, that page feels a little um, less glossy than, than the other ones I was going through. Let's do like a secret word to see if people are here. How about the secret word is Lando? Lando is the secret word. Do they show his other variants too? No, no, okay, fair enough, fair enough. There's so much here. There is Darth Maul again. The star of today's show, I guess. Look, you can learn all about him. Tattooed head, print of Maul's order, more weathered face. You wouldn't say. Crimson Dawn pendant, new robotic legs printed onto a regular leg piece, mechanical toes. See, there's things that I'm learning about this guy that I didn't even know before. This is the only Darth Maul torso to show red skin under black robes. There you have it, my friends. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Anyways, I'll just, I'll do one of these quick, uh, like just fly throughs here. See some Luke action. It's crazy. This is a lot of pages of Star Wars stuff. Let's see how far it goes. There's page 222. There you go. Page 221 of just nothing but Star Wars minifigs. Crazy, crazy stuff. 
That's pretty awesome, man. We're gonna have so much fun going through this. You can probably tell what Clark and I are gonna be doing this evening, checking out some Lego Star Wars minifigs. I know this is one of those things that's going to inspire him, and he's gonna be running downstairs to go through our collection to see if he can secure some of the characters out of here. And that's many times where my purchasing decisions lie. It goes into what's gonna be the, the most fun for us, what's gonna be the thing that really like sparks something in his mind or something that he enjoys building or creating. And I think this is definitely a good investment for us, especially for the cost. It's so cheap to get this and then you get the minifig as well. And he's, he's gonna be stoked about that. So I'm excited to share this with him and I was excited to share with you. I hope you enjoyed me going through this. Again, sorry to the book lovers for all the terrible things that I've done here. Just forget that ever happened. But it's an awesome book. If you wanna pick it up, I'll link it down on Amazon. I think you can also get it at Target. You could probably find it pretty much anywhere. But yeah, my review is it's definitely worth it. If you haven't gotten this in the last two years, maybe now's the time. We can get one of our Star Wars Vaders and have them fight against it. Ooh. Or we can get that Palpatine from that set and then we make the... You know it'd be perfect, Qui-Gon. <laughs> Quite quiet. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> Almost accurate. Almost. <laughs> oh, quite on right there. See his proper pants? Uh-huh. We got close. Close but no cigar. Which one did we build? <laughs> um well. We should make that one. We're kind of close to that one, I guess, eh? Yeah, kind of we're... A little bit. That look, oh, this is 3PO's. Yeah. We I'm showing this off to everybody. We can get a white one, a red one, silver one, RTD2. How do we do that? What is that around here? <laughs> that, that's on a tray with drinks on it. That's pretty cool. We could make that. And, and that. We can do that. Oh, that's so fun. When do you see the Darth Maul version of the Christmas one? You're going to love it. Darth Maul. Oh, we got Master Yoda. There's the Master Yoda Christmas one. <laughs> oh my gosh. That lo he looks like a Santa Yoda. What is this? Mace Windu. With a purple lightsaber. Yeah. Oh, we got all the droids. Oh, we have. You call them droids now? Yeah. Wow. AK robots. I know. We've <laughs> we got a ton of these one. guys. Yeah, yeah, those are um surrounding my nine story hotel. Those are guards. <laughs> Darth Maul. Right there. I wanted to show you that. That. Mary Sithmas. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Look and at this one. Up there in the dun, dun, dun. Oh my gosh, he has robot legs. <laughs> That's what happens when he got sliced in half. <laughs> that he came back and did that. <laughs> He's like, help me. That's the helmets that have lots of them. Mm -hmm. What is it? Janko fit? You see Santa's bounty? Oh, we can try the. Which try to build this? Do we have those parts? We have a Janko. We got Janko helmets. We got one of those. Do you have that torso? And pants? Yeah, but we can steal that from one of our best guard right, Mandos. And the, but we have to, but we have to try to find the arm for it and the hands. And we have, I think, we can steal that jetpack from, from somebody. And I don't think we have those legs though, or those hands, or those arms. Oh boy, there's your sick thing. <laughs> Bent we have that, don't we? Yeah, we have that. Do you like this book? Yeah. Ooh, orange, orange. Do you really want that? Yeah, I do actually. I said about how much I love it. It's cool. Ooh, the double wheeled one with the double gun. Mm -hmm. No, I've never seen that person before, but I've seen this guy, Grievous. Oh, that guy, the one that shot the, the boss of the town. We have that head. Oh, I, I just can't. Yeah, look at that bubble set. I want that. <laughs> That's a Mandalorian Super Commando. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, that's sick. His wings. Mm -hmm. That does not look like Palpatine. That looks like Jar Jar. That's Jar Jar. <laughs> Star Wars fans, triggered. Oh my god. We need to go back and get all these Christmas characters, don't we? We can see all the characters and we can learn about them and what sets they're from and that's the different weird. variants that they may have come with. I love it. Yeah, I thought so too. And then you can play with this like crazy. Hey, what's up, you bag old jerk? Hey, I'm not a jerk. Don't, don't touch me. Don't.
never gonna touch me because my name is somebody and you won't get me. Qui-Gon. My name's Qui-Gon, you won't get me. What that happened? Oh. Game over again, yeah, baby.